This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we drill holes on early ice in search of crappies living on the edge. Then we transition to midwinter walleyes roaming mid-range depths up north. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fish and Tackle, Stryker, and L&M Fleet Supply. I'm going to do a little bit of mid-afternoon crappie fishing today. There's fish on the screen already. I did a little bit of looking around. Popped a couple holes, looked around a little bit, but I'll tell you what predictable time of year they're right where right where I would have expected them to be and we're gonna see if they do what I expect them to do see if they just snap this is pretty early ice we're sitting on about seven inches of ice a lot of guys look at early ice a little bit earlier than I do but I like to be able to come out with the snowmobile and you know you're not four-wheeler you're not far off of the side-by-side -side right now That feels like the right kind. Feels like a decent fish. Just reached up to open the vents. It was getting a little warm in here. And this fish hit it when I wasn't even paying attention. It just goes to show you, oh yeah, nice crop. Not a giant, but I'll tell you what he is. Perfect eater size crop. He got himself spun one time. Look at that. Perfect eater size crop, I suppose, 10 incher. He'll go in the pail. We're fishing deep enough that not gonna throw fish back we're gonna we're gonna keep the first hand we catch but that's a good fish right there we'll take him it's late december we're fishing 30 to 32 feet down the shoreline side of a deep water hole big baits are key today one sixteenth ounce lindy quiver spoons tipped with minnow heads are doing the trick the weather is stable with sunny skies and light winds it's a great day to be on the ice We can get them to bite that's going to be a good crop right there got him that's a crappie you just tell the way he came up sat on that bait and gave me the time to watch him and separate the bait a little bit and it's a good fish I'm not going to tell you he's a giant but the lake i'm fishing today it's not loaded with giants you know what i'm wrong oh, look at this there's not a lot of giants in this lake. And when I say giants, I'm talking 14 plus, okay? But that one right there, that's a, just a quality fish no matter where you go. That's a 13 inch crappie right there. Man, I'll tell you, that is awesome stuff. I wanna to talk to you about the bait I'm using because the bait I'm using is making a difference. I was talking a little earlier about using big baits. Look at that, that's an awesome crappie. I don't care where you're fishing. That right there, that is just flat out an awesome fish. Look at that. That's cool, but I want to talk about the bait I'm using a little bit because it's one of my favorites. This is the Quiver Spoon by Lindy. And here's the thing about the Quiver Spoon. It's made from a super lightweight material. Every time I jig this, this spoon up, it's going to flutter back down. But here's the really neat thing. Whole bunch of new colors this year. A lot of, you know, in the past we did a lot of the, the color schemes that were like the old Technoglow. And man, they're just flat out fish catchers with that plated back and then those colors on the front. And now we've added a whole bunch of more custom looking colors. You look at that, I'll tell you what, that thing starts fluttering back down and it looks like a perch. It looks like whatever it is they're eating on the back when you've got that plated back. And every single one of these is either plated gold or plated chrome. So you get flash, you get that little bit of vibration as this thing's floating back down. It looks like a wounded bait fish and a whole bunch of awesome colors. And you know, you never know when you come out exactly what they're gonna be eating. But I'll tell you from experience that most of the time, when I'm sitting on early ice and I'm chasing crappies, spoons, bigger baits, get me the bigger fish or more of those keeper fish. All said and done, I'd much rather fish a spoon, know I've got a shot throughout the day at those better fish. And I mean, a crappie like that one, I mean, that's just an awesome fish anywhere you go. But you might not get him fishing small. We're fishing aggressive and we're fishing big. And that's how we've got that fish in the bucket. L&M Fleet Supply is your Northland Ice Fishing Headquarters. I'm here with Eric Porterfield to hear about this week's hot deals. We do have some great deals this week, John. How about an Otter Pro Lodge insulated pop-up? $50 off at $379.99. 
and keep that fish house warm with a Big Buddy heater, regularly $119.99. On sale this week for only $99.99. Check out this week's L&M Weekly Deals for more great sale pricing in-store or online at lmsupply.com. Get on the ice earlier and stay later with the all-new Alumalite Odyssey Wheelhouse. The Odyssey is constructed with a full aluminum frame and a proven spray foam interior, making it extremely lightweight and easy to tow. The Odyssey features a durable black coin rubber floor and is available in various sizes and layouts. 110 volt wiring and thermal pane windows provide all the power and light you'll need to spend the day or the entire weekend on the ice. For more information, visit your favorite retailer or solderbloom.com. Ice fishing electronics are getting bigger and better all the time. And along with that, they're pulling more power than ever. Amped Outdoors is the leader in lithium power technology, providing the highest capacity per size in the industry. Amped Outdoor lithium batteries are available in a variety of sizes to fit your power needs. And their batteries are built with the ice fishermen in mind. Amped Outdoors is based right in the heart of the ice belt in Hudson, Wisconsin. And they provide world-class customer support. Change the way you outdoors with Amped Outdoors lithium batteries. This looks like a good fish. This is a good one. Got him. You just tell when he was coming up that it was a crop. He looked like a, looked like a decent fish, but now I'm starting to think he might be on the smaller side. No, I think he's actually toughened up there as we were coming up. Got a little tougher as we went. It's funny how that works. Oh yeah, nice crappie. Look at that one. Another great fish. Man, that is. That is cool stuff. Let's talk location real quick. First ice crappies. Remember where we found them in the fall? We found them on the edges of holes, meandering around out there because what happened is the weeds started dying off, the bait fish left, and the crappies followed. That fish right there, he's in the same spot right now that he was in this fall. So here's what I'm gonna start by doing. I'm always gonna look where there were weeds growing, okay? because here's what you got to know, they're still close by. They haven't had to start roaming the whole basin yet. So they're going to be nearby. They're going to be on the edges of those holes, really close to where those weeds were that they left in the fall. And then pick the sides of the holes or the edges of the holes where that weed growth might have been the closest. If you go out and you pick a hole and you pick the center of the lake side of the hole, here's what you're going to find out. There were no weeds out there and most likely those crappies aren't going to be out there. Pick the side of the hole, the edge of the hole that's closest to that shoreline where those weeds were growing, and you'll find that those crappies are gonna be right there. There he is, got him. I watched him bite this in the tip. Man, that's cool. Hey, one of the things I wanna point out is what I'm using for a rod. It's a tuned up custom 32 inch bull whip. Now, if I was fishing the rattling quiver spoon and needed to engage rattles without much movement on the spoon, big crappie, look at this one. Holy smokes, he got it in the bottom lip, so I gotta be careful how I grab him. Nice crappie. And get him unhooked. Get that with this toothpick real quick and easy. Look at that, popped it right out. Simple, simple deal. Look at that, awesome crappie. But here's why I'm using the bull whip. Bull whip has a little bit softer tip than the Fusion. If I was fishing a Rattlin spoon, I'd probably use the Fusion because I can move the spoon a little bit less and snap it a little bit more with that stiffer tip on that rod. So ultimately, man, I'll tell you, this is the perfect stick for the job, this 32 inch bull whip. It's starting to cool down. They said this was gonna happen. It's just getting a little chillier outside. 
I want to show you something really cool. I'm running the new Heat Hog heater, something that I'm running for the first time this year. And one of the things you can do with it that's different than the competition is you can actually tip it. And that's a big deal because here's the thing, instead of having to turn it up to just push heat parallel out along the floor or along the ice, actually when I tip it up, I don't have to crank it up so much, it just moves that heat up toward me. It's a pretty slick deal. Here he comes, I'm gonna hit it. There he is, got him. That's cool. That's cool when you can call it. That fish there though, I mean, you could tell what was gonna happen here. Look at that. Another great crappie. Man, I'll tell you, how do you beat this? I mean, it's just crazy good. And it's driven by the fact that we're just sitting here fishing an aggressive bait. One of those new colors on that quiver spoon. And we're sitting on a spot that's just got fish piled up on it. That's just awesome. And this is not hard to find. Get out on this early ice. Look for those areas where weeds are nearby because those fish, they haven't moved far out of those weeds. They've just found the nearest deep water. Get aggressive with them, drop, a, drop down a bigger bait of spoon, put a minnow on there and get after these fish. That's just awesome, what a great day. Man, was that ever some great crappie fishing. Next, we're gonna go walleye fishing, but before we do that, I wanna take just a quick minute, tell you a little bit about this Striker Trekker suit that you see me wearing today. The Trekker suit features 60 grams of Thermodex insulation, creating a lightweight ice suit that contains plenty of warmth. It also features hydropore waterproofing, meaning that you'll stay dry in snow and sleep, all the while delivering breathability to be sure you won't break out in a cold sweat. Like all Striker ice fishing suits, the Trekker contains 150 grams of sure float flotation, meaning you can hit the ice with peace of mind. The Trekker suit provides three season versatility, winter on the ice, then spring and fall in the boat. And with the Trekker, you get all that great Striker quality without breaking the bank. Well, that'll tell you everything you need to know about the Striker Trekker suit. Hey, stay right where you're at. We're gonna go walleye fishing next on John Thielen's Destination Fish. The Jaws of Ice Auger Carrier is made for the angler who goes further to catch fish. Designed to easily mount on snowmobiles, side-by-sides, and four-wheelers, the Jaws of Ice is compatible with nearly every ice auger on the market today. Its simple locking jaw design provides a solid and safe ride across the ice. Upon arrival, the easy release system allows you to get right to work drilling holes and finding fish. The Jaws of Ice is the last auger carrier you will ever need. For more information, visit jawsofice.net. Keep your fishing and hunting gear secure and dry as you travel across the ice to hot spots or along the gravel roads to your favorite hunting grounds. The Nomad UTV topper is constructed from lightweight, high-grade aluminum with lids that include lockable latches and gas shocks. Full-size and low-profile configurations are available for the Polaris Ranger and the Can-Am Defender. Nomad UTV toppers are made to fit any adventure. For more information, check them out at your favorite dealer or online at nomadmn.com. Hi, this is Greg from Outdoors Again in Bedette, Minnesota. I'd like to personally invite you to stop in and visit us here at Outdoors Again, where we carry the largest selection of fishing tackle, bait, firearms, and ammo in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the Jig Buffet. We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bedette with plenty of parking to accommodate boats, wheelhouses, and trailers. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, including bait, tackle, firearms, ammo, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors Again. At Bemidji Sports Center, we have everything you need to get serious about fun. As one of the Midwest's largest power sports dealers, we offer sales, service, and parts for industry-leading brands, including ski and Polaris snowmobiles, as well as Can-Am and Polaris off-road products. We also stock Triton utility trailers and a huge selection of Alumalite fish houses. Stop in to see our extensive inventory at our convenient Highway 71 location in Bemidji, Minnesota, or check us out online at BemidjiSportsCenter.com. Command the cold this season with the Heat Hog Portable Propane Heater. Available in three sizes, making it perfect for any hunting blind or fish house. This is the only product available that tilts so you can warm your core and not just your feet. 
The curved plaque provides a wider heating area, and the tank heating dock keeps propane cylinders warm, delivering twice the runtime per cylinder. Keep your hunting blind warm all fall and your fish house warm all winter with the Heat Hog, designed in Minnesota by people who know cold. Next up, we head to the south shore of Lake of the Woods and Zippo Bay Resort for a day of great walleye fishing. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and L&M Fleet Supply. Ooh, there I just got a bobber go down. Oh yeah, there he is. Got him. That's how you like to start. I don't think he's real big, but a bobber down is a good start to the morning, no matter where you go. First fish of the day is a nice sauger. Yep. Get you unhooked and get you back in the drink. There you go. Oh yeah. Good one, huh? He came up and smoked it. Yep, that one looks better. There's a few fish coming through right now. This is just kind of Oh. You got it, oh yeah, good one. Nice, nice walleye. walleye. Yup. This is how it works though. What happens is you'll sit sometimes for half hour and you'll see nothing. And then all of a sudden there's just action that starts rolling through. And it's just the way it works because you're stationary and you're waiting for these fish to get to you. But you gotta just hang in there knowing that these fish are, they're gonna come through. If you quit jigging, you don't get their attention. Right. You know, so you gotta stay at it, but that's a great example right there. Ooh, there's one. Nice. And then this is just a deal. Now mine's a smaller one, but it just goes to show you that there's just a bunch of them coming through now. Sure. And you know, you look at what Luke's got in his hand there. That's a beautiful keeper walleye. And then right along with them, this little sauger. But that's how it works. They'll just cycle through these areas. So you just gotta keep jigging. And if you keep jigging, you're gonna catch them. There you go. This is a nicer fish. What do you got there? Got another. Oh yeah, look at that one. Damn. Nice one, look at that one. Yeah, he came up and just smoked it too. <laughs> God, that's fun when they do that. It sure is, isn't it? Awesome. So that, that, was, that was jig rod? Yep, that was the jigging rod. That one there is an, another awesome fish for dinner tonight. Yeah, it is. It's mid-January. We're fishing in 21 feet of water just west of the main road. Today we're using 1 8 ounce Lindy Rattlin Quiver Spoons and Rattlin Flyer Spoons along with Wally Talkers, all tipped with minnow heads. The key is constant jigging designed to call fish in as they roam throughout the day. It's overcast with temps in the mid-20s and light winds. Yeah, it's right on it. There he got it. Or I got him. One of, the, one of the two. You know, you go through enough of these small fish that keep you busy that when you hook one that feels a little bit better, I mean, you know right, oh yeah, good walleye. Look at that one, good fish. Look at him. That one's gonna go in the bucket. Awesome walleye. Hey, let's talk a little bit about what we're using, what you can bring, catch fish like this. There's, there's a whole variety of tackle that Luke and I have thrown at him today. And, and I'll tell you, it's everything from you know, putting a noisy bait down there when you're not seeing a lot of fish to putting subtle stuff down when the fish are there. Right now I'm fishing a rattling quiver spoon. Over there, Luke's got a quiver spoon on. So, you know, I'm making a little bit of noise. He's a little bit more subtle, but we're just doing a little bit more of that, that flutter back down. That's an awesome walleye right there. Man, take that anywhere you go. I'm gonna throw this guy in the pail, but he, here's the thing. What you wanna do is bring a variety of stuff. We've had a little bit of everything going on. This is a Wally Talker. I've had this on and off periodically, just a noisemaker, again, trying to get their attention. Rat Rattling flyer spoons. I mean, when it comes down to it, a good old fashioned 1 8 or 3 16 ounce Rattling flyer spoon. And then the other thing I would tell you is on our dead sticks, we're using a Thill Float. Now down below it, instead of using a plain hook, try this. We're using a little frosty jigging spoon. And the reason we're doing that is when that minnow's swimming around, he's given off a little bit of extra flash with that spoon. The other thing that's happening too is you're holding that minnow 
in an area because of that little bit of extra weight and it makes that minnow struggle more. And if you can get that minnow to struggle a little bit more, he's naturally calling fish into you. So when it comes down to it, a variety of this stuff, quiver spoons, rattling quiver spoons, rattling flyer spoons, when you put together a little selection of that stuff, you're gonna be able to come here and catch fish. We are l &M. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are l &M Fleet Supply. Alumalite fish houses are the most durable, lightweight fish houses on the market today. Constructed from high-grade aluminum with spray foam interiors, Alumalite houses are easy to tow with a four-wheeler, snowmobile, or side-by-side. -side. Alumalite offers various sizes of houses along with custom build options. Alumalite fish houses are efficient and affordable, making them the most comfortable hard house option for reeling in fish all winter long. To find a complete listing of sizes, options, and your nearest dealer, visit Soderbloom.com. Since 2002, Cold Snap Outdoors has been creating innovative products that make ice fishing more enjoyable. Snap-on auger covers protect your auger blades while providing an easy and fast snap-on and off system. Simply use your toe to hold the cover and pop the auger out. The toothpick is the easiest hook removal system for panfish and walleye alike. Slide the notch down the hook and turn. Hooks are removed with no damage to expensive tungsten jigs or larger jigging spoons. To learn more about the entire Cold Snap lineup, visit your local retailer or coldsnapoutdoors.com. Lake of the Woods is the premier ice fishery in the Midwest, and Zippel Bay Resort on the South Shore is the place to experience all it has to offer. Zippel Bay offers plowed road access, day and sleeper fish house rentals, deluxe log cabins, and a great food menu in the lodge. The world-famous On Ice Igloo Bar offers fun for everyone, serving food and drinks in a setting like no other. Wheelhouses are welcome, and the fishing is great throughout the extended Lake of the Woods ice season. Plan your next ice fishing trip to Zippel Bay Resort. giant but you know what I am gonna tell you I think oh well, yeah he is gonna make it to the dinner table with us if I can get him untangled from my transducer <laughs> look at that it's a nice walleye oh heck yeah look at that perfect 14 15 incher you know this is that time of the night afternoon where this just starts happening again you know, you'll get a lot of times it's pretty common in this area around Zippo Bay to get walleyes in the morning. You'll get an occasional walleye throughout the day, but you'll get a lot of saugers. And then all of a sudden you get into that afternoon time frame, and there go your walleyes again. And that's what's great because when we talk about having the ability to throw saugers in, throw walleyes in, you're going to get both here. I mean, there's areas on Lake of the Woods that you can go fish, and here's what you find out. You might be on a reef and there's not many of those saugers up there. One thing about this area, is you get that mix because you're fishing, you know, basically a dropping off basin. And it's dropping from sand harder bottom out into the mud. And, and I'll tell you what, you get a chance to get everything out here. Great walleye. Got. This one feels a little bit better. Oh, a nice perch. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy smokes. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great fish. Look at that perch. 
this is an awesome perch. You never know what you're gonna pull up out here, which you know makes it kind of exciting when you're reeling up anytime because you just don't know what you're gonna get. And these perch, these are awful tasty too. <laughs> That's a handful right there. You know, I, over the years I've seen times where you get a lot of perch in the fall. You can bump into a lot of them, but man, I, you almost always see a bonus perch or two when you're out here ice fishing. Yep. That's so, awesome. Looks like we're gonna be going home with some walleye, sauger, and now a perch. That's a dynamite fish. <laughs> Well, that one feels like a pretty good fish, bud. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come here. My transducer. Get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. We're going to get him. <laughs> I did this the hard way. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Look at that. He got twisted coming right up through there. That's a nice Look at that. Fish. It's an awesome walleye. Look at that one. Look at that, great fish. Man, what an awesome day. I always enjoy getting up here and fishing the South Shore Lake of the Woods, and today was a ball fishing with Luke. Tell you what though, before we go today, I wanna to tell you a little bit more about Zippel Bay and what you can expect when you come up here, because that's great fishing right there, and you're gonna to wanna to do this. Zippo Bay Resort runs one of the largest ice fishing operations on Lake of the Woods. The wide plowed roads stretch for miles from shallow to deep water. Zippo Bay offers day house and sleeper house rentals and wheelhouses are welcome with plowed slots on the hot spots. The Igloo Bar is a must-see destination and a daily gathering point to enjoy your favorite beverage and short order food. Back on shore, housekeeping cabins and deluxe log cabins are available with all the amenities covered while the bar and restaurant serves great food and drink. Zippo Bay Resort offers everything the ice angler can think of. Well, that'll tell you about everything you need to know about Zippo Bay and why I've been coming up here for 20 some years. And I'll tell you what, I'd love to see you up here sometime. Remember to check back next week. We're gonna have another great ice fishing adventure right here on John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning has been brought to you by L&M Fleet Supply.